Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. Oh, night Standing in the rain She tries to cry But there's no more tears For her to cry Emptiness And will to die How I wish I could help her
Black State Highway with a track called Broken. And joining me now live on the phone is Ollie from the band, of course. Uh, good evening, Ollie. Hello, how's it going? Uh, not bad, mate. Um, so you're um, one of the guitarists with the band. Yeah, that's right. Um, so you come from Brighton, but um, you're from all over the place, aren't you? Yeah, well, I'm British, I would say. We've got a Swede, a Latvian, and... Um, a ginger, if you've read our press release. <laughs> yes. One from Scotland, haven't you? Yeah. Is that the well, one? Actually, no, it's the um, Harry's from from Reading, but um, Gordon, our bassist, is from Scotland. I see. Uh, we don't mind Reading, because I'm a Reading supporter. Yeah, shame about the result today. Sure, yeah, it is, yes, yes. <laughs> um, so, um, you uh, recently released your debut album. Um, your sound is, well, it's very... You can see, tell it's very much based on the 70s blues rock band, but you've sort of like get, got your own sound to it as well. Yeah, I mean, we're really influenced by sort of 70s rock stuff. But um, we don't just sort of listen to old music and we listen to a lot of new rock bands, bands like Triggerfinger and stuff like that, and try and take influence from the old and a bit from the new and just try and do what we think sounds good it's and, working uh, for me i think <laughs> cool um so um so, so how long have you been going as a band um we've been going for it must be about four years now i mean we all met at um the music institute down in brighton um well, that's where the sort of lineup of the band came together and we sort of geeked around a bit and it's just in the last couple of years that we've decided to really take it seriously and give it a proper go right um so um who would you say musically speaking which are probably your, your most um influential um it depends on which band member but for me um i don't know it's really hard to say i'm a massive hendrix fan so the reason why I even play in the first place is because of that. So I'd have to say Hendrix, although it might be cliche. Right. But everyone in everyone in the band's got sort of into different stuff, and so when we play together, sort of all those little things come together. If that makes sense. Right, and and you, you are starting to make a name for yourself because you um you had an article in Classic Rock magazine uh, a couple of months back, didn't you? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, Classic Rock. We were surprised for them to get on board so soon because we sort of, you know, it's our first album that we've just put out. And um, we got featured on the front of uh, one month and then the next month they did a nice page on us with an interview and high hopes. So it was great. We couldn't believe it. Yeah, um, yeah but it certainly it was Classic Rock Magazine that introduced me to you and, um, and quite a few other bands. So I'm really thankful for Classic Rock. Uh, yeah, it's good. Although they, there's always either Hendrix or Zeppelin or something on the front. They do try and get in some new, new music, and we're really grateful that they did that for us because people like yourself discovered us through that. Right, because I'm I'm really um, a fan. I'm, I'm, I only do this. This is a hobby for me, really, because I'm I've got a day job, and so I come in here at night, I play a bit of rock music that I like, and and it's really great for me to find bands like yourselves who I think have got potential. And I, I personally think you're going places. I'm sure Classic Rock think that. That's why they featured you. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> um, yeah, fingers crossed. I mean, no one knows. We're just going to give it our best shot and just keep going. And hopefully we can do it. Right. So have you got any gigs coming up? Yep. I mean, next weekend we're at Hard Rock Hill up in North Wales uh, we're playing on the Saturday and same day some bands Blue Oyster Cult headlining I think wow. are playing. so we're looking forward to seeing Truck Fighters um, then the week after that we're at the Merton Manor in Merton which is sort of Wimbledon area and then we're in London in December if you check out blackstatehighway.co.uk or 
get us on Facebook and stuff, you can keep up to date with all our gigs and everything that we're getting up to. Right, so I'm certainly, um, hopefully catching you myself, like, hopefully in the new year I'm going to be able to get to see you a gig somewhere even if I've got to go to London or somewhere that really, would be great I, um, are, you, are you from Reading? Um, no my mum and dad are from Reading I'm, I was brought up in Gosport but now I live on the Isle of Wight oh I see but um, I would certainly get up to Reading to see you just drag, drag one of my mates along it'd be great yeah. we'll try and coincide it with a game <laughs> hey that'd be alright wouldn't it <laughs> yeah so I've got a throwaway question I ask all my guests. Um, if you could go back in time, who would you like to see on stage, living or dead? Um, I would like to see Hendrix living, just giving it some welly. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Of course, we had Hendrix on, on the Isle of Wight Festival in 1970. Yeah. I was too young for that then, unfortunately. Yeah. But it would have been good. It would be incredible, I think. Right. Um, so be sure to keep us in contact uh, con with, with us. What what you're up to? Because um, when you've got new records coming out, so I can always give you a good plug. I've already played you quite a few times on the show. I'm absolutely loving the album. Nice one. Thanks. A lot. We're glad you like it. <laughs> okay. Um, so I've got another track to play. Yours. I'm going to play. Ain't got no. Um, so what what's your thoughts behind this song? Well, this is our this is the single off the album. This is our first single. This was um, this was one of the first that we actually wrote together and sort of got in a room and did. And so, I don't know, it's just a good bit of, good bit of rock. Yeah. Certainly is. And it's my favourite yeah. track of yours, actually. Oh, cool. That's why it's a single, you see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> OK, for well, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, and um, we're going to play this now and, and keep in touch, like I said. And let's, let's do play it. Play it ain't got no. Absolutely. Thanks good. very much for having us. Uh, good night. Thanks for joining me. Cheers. Bye -bye. It starts with a little kiss in a small, smoky room. He says that he loves the song when he makes the rules. So you put all your trust in his loving hand. Letting your hair
supporting community